Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to take a look how we can customize and change the UI of any SharePoint list form. So for this, we are not going to use Power Apps to customize it. We are not going to use any third party tool, kind of link tags, key to forms. So we are just going to look at the JSON customization of the SharePoint list form. Because most of the time, we just want to have changes into the header, may want to change the header background and as well as the alignment of the fields and the possibly like a field should be displayed in a, a three column format so that sort of feature most of the time we want and for those like we would not like to have this heavy power apps form integrated because it takes time to load and as well as that comes with the cost of power app license so probably if a company is having uh, more than 50,000 field workers then probably they don't wish to have like everything with a power app license so possibly that could be one constraint and as well as uh, with the third party forms so where like it comes with a specific significant uh, license cost so probably this uh, SharePoint capability of using JSON to customize the form would be the right approach to customize this uh, forms with the minimal UI stuff as you need so if I click on new button I have this list which is having few columns and if I click on the new form as you know like out of the box form layout is kind of very much sequential fashion all the input fields are structured in top to down approach and we don't have any header capability right now with the, this out of the box form and if you wish to customize it if you wish to change the look look and feel of it and would like to spread the form across this window screen this entire I mean like the increasing the width of the form then simply you have to go to this added form and we we have three options added columns is for creating and editing columns and customize with power apps if you wish to embed any custom or extensive logic within the form but we are going to just change the layout of the form because most of the time I actually require to change the UI only. So I am clicking on this configure layout. It gives me this formatting stuff where I have these three options. I have header formatting, body formatting and photo formatting. So it requires one formatted JSON in specific format so that it can be binded up with this entire form. So we have specifically header uh, format for the header and body format for the body and footer format for the footer so i'll just going to show you the format which i have already created and i'm just uh, walk through it so i have this header created so if you look at the header i have this element type as div and you may want to just uh, add up the class attributes and as well as if you would like to have the inline styling for example applying some background color and giving the margin between the body in this header and as well as if you scroll down uh, I have this children uh, uh, element which is having div and in this div I am actually like uh, using one icon so that it can be displayed in front of the title of that header and if I scroll down I have another child element that is again a div and this is div is actually would read out the value from this title field. So as my list is related to the project and I would like to in the header I would like to say the project details for and the title field. So whatever title field we would be giving uh, while creating the item in the display mode and the edit mode it would start taking up as the header of that body. So, so I'm just copy pasting it so that you can see and I'll just uh, paste this header sample header in the uh, comments as well so that you can directly pick and work with it so if I click on preview it has started giving me this preview so in the icon I have added this icon and uh, as I told you that in the text content I have that project details for and the title would be picked dynamically with the title field and if I scroll up as I said, you can just have your inline styling as well. So I have provided this background color which is being applied. So we are good with our header. So I'm just like leaving that as is. And if I go to the body, in body, 
instead of like having this plain sequential structuring i would like to have that uh, split into the columns and for that this uh, json formatting gives us an option of like dividing the form into sections so i can show you the body json which i have already created so in this section you can see it's just like i have to specify what different section i would like to have my form form for example this i this display name would actually give me the section name and what field should be come comes under this section so this fields are title status i would like to have this uh, set of fields under my this project information and the other section should be displaying this project content so contact so it's a project manager field and project number of resources so probably this is a section i would be looking for so automatically when i apply this in preview nothing would happen because i found like uh, for this body json we don't have any preview until unless we save it so though like we see this preview button but it doesn't work for me at least so once i save this and close my this form and refresh it again and comes back then i started seeing my this form split it into two sections that is project information and the fields which i have specified is title template status project and the other section is project content so now it looks a bit better like structured with the uh, in a in a column format i have like uh, four columns in a row and as well as like you can decide on the number of columns you wish to have in one section so that it can look prettier so i can move one column to over here so that it can be Okay, it can look like a symmetrical form so that you can decide and one thing with body we don't have as of now we don't have any control of changing the background of this uh, body section but uh, i'm hoping like uh, we may have uh, something comes up in future but as of now like it gives me a good start uh, to work on this custom form so rather than just going for power apps and uh, do some changes and then wait for that power app to load it's very quick nice and i i can see my all the information in a very well structured way so last thing we are going to talk about is having footer so for footer may be like useful when you would like to add some declaration to your form for example i could say like this project information which we are creating is a classified information so you should be aware about it so in that case i would be just adding one footer so header i just change my apply formatting to footer and i'll just go to footer which i have already created so this uh, the formatting again would be the same as of header we would be having element type at div div and then can apply the styling and in the child we can just have our information for example in child i have this div and i can name you can just put down i can name which you, which you wish to to make it prettier you can also have your logo image somewhere so for that you have to uh, use the attribute as image or if you wish to have the anchor attribute or link for example letting a user to contact somebody then you can have the anchor tag over here and in the attribute you can set the link for that anchor tag so right now i have just just uh, this day because i would like to just add this text context as this information is classified so i'm just entirely copying this one and pasting to my this uh, formatting code and if i preview so for footer i have preview so it has started showing me this information is classified and once you save it close it close it just refresh your form you have your entire formatting on your sharepoint list form so if i just create one test project and just uh, i'm trying to save it so that we can just have a look on the display form as well and once you save it item gets created if i click on this item it's showing me the display form so it keeps the formatting for all the new display and edit form if i just click on edit all it gives me that edit form so that's how you can just simply with few 
steps you can customize or change your layout of your form which would look a bit better uh, for a lengthy form it's, it's good to structure them in the column column so that it can be the all the fields can be viewable in one shot so that's a pretty nice thing I found so that's it for this form and one thing uh, recently I have started looking at it like in in this any of the SharePoint list item we got this mention as well so if you would like to while editing if you would like to mention your team member that you are editing this then it would just send out the uh, notification for that person that I am editing this or you can just simply add up your comments that I am changing the project budget so you can just keep editing your comments and then those uh, comments and the uh, mentions would uh, be shown over here in this pane so that's also pretty cool something useful as well so this is it with the quick tips for customizing the SharePoint list form and uh, that's it for today I think like you may find it useful for your daily work so if you find it useful for you then please do subscribe like and also if you have any question drop your comment that's for today thank you